A stands for Aviation Career Education. It's a FAA uh, program. It's designed to give young people, and particularly minorities and females, uh, exposure to the aviation industry. It's important because, you know, with a young person, we, we capture them at the stage of their life uh, where they're about to make decisions. Whether you're a pilot, air traffic controller, engineer, if you're not exposed to it uh, at an early age, you may not even know it exists. So to give them the exposure in every arena that we possibly can in one week, quite possibly could change a person's mind for a career choice. The value is huge. I wish that more industries would allow uh, youngsters to get behind the scenes look at their industries and such because I think it would re do real good as far as uh, encouraging kids to be highly successful in school. Today we're going to go to Discovery World. Discovery World is a wonderful venue uh, here in Milwaukee. Discovery World is a center for inner innovation and creativity, a place where you can come and explore science from a new viewpoint by interactions with technology, or it could be machinery, it could be different experiments, it could even just be a professional who explains things to you in a way you've never heard before. We did experiments on understanding air just as a fluid itself. From that beginning point, we worked out to everything else and the rest of the day, that once you understood air as a fluid, you would understand why things now can float in the air, you would understand why things can move through the air, why they can stay up in the air. We did an activity using wire zip lines and balloons and syringe tubes that allowed the students to determine what size opening allowed for the greatest thrust in order to move their rocket, so to speak, the farthest along that zip line. And so they were able to explore variables about how much initial fuel do you have, and that was how large the balloon was. Today is Wednesday, and today we actually take our first field trip outside of Milwaukee. Uh, we will go north to Oshkosh, to EAA, the Experimental Aircraft Association. This is the EAA uh, headquarters, world headquarters here in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. We have a state-of-the-art museum uh, full of aircraft, about 125, 150 different aircraft. Most of them are still in flying condition. We're really fortunate to have groups like this come up that really are excited in getting engaged with aviation. And part of our job here is to try to create that spark. The Houston program that we did today, where they have limited supplies of popsicle sticks, um, so many popsicle sticks, so many straws, uh, so much length of tape and string. And they have to create this cargo capsule to protect their raw egg that's inside its astronaut bag. We're putting those together and then tying a parachute uh, garbage bag together with some string and then dropping it off the second floor um, story that we had over here and hopefully it survives. We had about 50% survival rate, which is pretty good with the amount of eggs that were, that were dropped. Oh, people! Oh, people! Oh, yeah! Thursday morning, we're going to Atlanta, Georgia. Air Train Airways will put them on an aircraft, and we will depart. First thing we'll do is go to the Air Train Maintenance Facility. And in that facility, we will see aircraft, and we will actually see and touch aircraft engines and components, things that they've only seen on paper to this point. From there, we will get back on the bus, and it will take them to another life-changing opportunity, which is the Hartsfield-Jackson Air Traffic Control Tower. From there, we will go to the Air Train Pilot Training Facility. There, we'll be able to get into an actual simulator, in which we train pilots, and they'll get an opportunity to do a takeoff and a landing. Well, today, we're at the commencement ceremony, if you will. It's an awards luncheon uh, for the youth. This is exactly the type of program I absolutely love seeing in our community because it creates hope in the lives of young people. I hope you had a wonderful experience. I know you did, and I'm sure I'll be hearing stories uh, throughout the rest of this year. I think the biggest, most important tool that a young person can have in their toolbox is exposure. I'm grateful that I have the opportunity to be in a position to share that with you and put another tool in your box. My favorite part, especially was the simulator. I was screaming my head off of me, like you turn it, going round and round and round. Seeing everybody uh, yelling and screaming and moving around and trying not to throw up. We were twisting and rolling and ducking and stuff. But programs like these, you know, where they give you exposure and help you learn about different career paths, they help me personally know that I have a future. I think it's a marvelous program. I've seen 
a group that had no knowledge of each other come together and work as a team and be highly efficient as a team, competing against adults in some cases and being highly successful. It's very important for AirTran to be in the community because these young people, quite frankly, one day could work for AirTran. So the more that we can put ourselves in the community, show the community that we're there for them, show the community that we care about the community that we serve, the better it is for that community and the better it is for us as a company. Thank you, AirTran. Thanks, AirTran. Thank you, AirTran, because I had a very fun experience and I wish I could come back next year.